Hey guys, welcome to my channel and welcome to another video. <clears throat> Today we're going to be talking about Liv's Lies. Yes, I said Liv's Lies, not Liv's Life. So, today is Saturday. The 1st of October, this past week, um, the South had to deal with, especially Florida, Hurricane Ian. So, as we all know, Liv lives in Florida, right? <clears throat> right. So, um, you know, she went live several times during the time period that um, Ian was doing its damage to Florida. Now, me personally, I know that they said she lives near Tampa somewhere. I don't know exactly where, nor do I know the apartment complex, but everyone else seems to know her business. So, after the hurricane was over, she said that where she was, there was very little, there was no damage. But, as she drove home, she started to see areas of her uh, city uh, that by her house that was damaged. And not only that, that her window was busted, that dirt, debris, a tree limb, and water got into her room and damaged just her bedroom. She said that her TV was cracked in half. Uh, and her bed had, uh, stuff all over it. Like her room was just destroyed. That's basically what she said. And there was no, uh, electricity. So that was, uh, I want to say Thursday night, early Friday morning, right? So starting Friday night, I started seeing people post about live. And so I'm like, Hmm, you know, so I also saw that she had, went live twice so I watched the, some of it <clears throat> and then I watched some of what was said people actually had pictures of her apartment I don't know how completely cleared out like she has taken they said most of the things that was in her apartment has already been moved out because she was in the process of moving and that not only that, her window was not broken. They showed what they considered receipts. And her lights was only out for 30 minutes. Of which she wasn't even there when they were out because she stayed somewhere else. And basically that everything she said was a lie. You know... It never ceases to amaze me, people, what they will do, how they will act, and why would they lie about something like that? It was bad enough during the hurricane seeing uh, Peach McIntyre run around the city of Tampa doing videos for content. And primarily, she was just, for what she said, she was just being sarcastic. She so showed herself somewhere where a trampoline was put out and I even put up a post hey please tell me that y'all not taking them people trampoline and she was like you know basically F you that I was just joking and you know from my understanding you know she is very successful so she really wouldn't have a reason to do it but the thing is I don't know her well enough to know if she's serious or not I can only go by what she says and that's what I did so I could have missed it with her. No one has said that she's ever done anything wrong. She's never presented herself in a way that she uh, deems to be unsuccessful or that she's dishonest. So I would never think that of her. Um, I can only go about, like I said, what she said. And that's why I reacted directly to what she said and not what people said about her. However, that doggone live. People say all she do is lie. <clears throat> and 
And being that they have showed um, proof of her house, her apartment, I mean, everything. They show that she's very heavily in debt, that she's behind on child support. She lost her kids, not even trying to get them back. Like, there's so much stacked against this young lady that you can't help but believe what people say about her. So, do I think that she was being dishonest? And do I think that it that she was lying? Yeah. I mean, they proved time and time again that she was and that she will. So, I can only go by what is put out there about her. <clears throat> Those of you who watch her channel, tell me what you guys think. Do you think that she could be telling the truth and that she did suffer damage at her apartment and that she actually still lives there? Because like I said, the young lady, Cutie Squad, shout out to her. Um, <clears throat> She was showing pictures and also showed a text message dialogue with uh, a young lady and her son who is uh, supposed to live in the same apartments. He said there was no damage done to their apartments. So... I mean, you know, it's not looking good for Liv and her lies. Tell me what y'all think, and we will discuss it below. Thank you guys for um, watching this video. If you are not a member of this channel, please subscribe, like, and comment. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.